2023, Summer Field Day. Can you cut it? Apparently there's no parking. So I'm gonna empty the car. I want down a parking spot. Wes called and told me the parking lot was full. Well I showed up and they just left. That's a good thing about being this ugly. <laughs> All right, here's the doctor's bag. This is the tripod we're testing out if it works. The reason it's not gonna fit in the bag right now is because we have field day stuff in there. This is the Hamvention bag. It's the same setup as before, but it's got enough for three nodes in here at least. We have two cameras and phones so they can see what the whole point of it is. Yeah. Very. Called a lazy man's look for a reason. What's up, stranger? Hello. How are you? I'm here. How are you? Time for the doctor phone. The doctor phone already has work. I guess we just had an active call right there. All right, we're operational. This camera's online. That camera's online. Red truck, way down there. And there's the mobile doctor phone. So these are basically two backbones and a mobile. Cloudy. It's one of them flying machines. Cloudy and it's still pulling over 20 watts. Yeah. But the sun's right overhead of us here, so. But still, that's a 40. Yeah, even on a cloudy day, they'll charge it just at a lower rate. But I mean, the point that we're getting 50% of it on in, a, in cloud cover out of a cheap panel, what else can you ask for? Those, those work better than anything, those fold up ones. I've only used it a couple times, so I'm gonna... They work great. So far, I, I like it. We're down back at the battlefield. We came with our own armament this time. This is a multi-purpose trip. We're having field day, we're presenting Arden to the community and we're testing out our first agency serve. It doesn't get much better than that, especially when they work. Here. So here, we're pretending this is the backbone. That's a remote node out there. And that would be like an end, end mile, whatever it's called, last mile node. I was tempted to bring NPR 70, but there's enough going on here. Also, we can tunnel into my house. 
which I'm going to here in a minute. I just want to cool off and burn it up. Yeah, hour 45 minutes. And three nodes set up. Now I need to go swap out the, the panel because that's my personal panel. That's a 40 watt instead of a 30. So maybe that's what I'll do. I can tell okay, get smart. Into that camera. Oh yeah, go. No, we're in. No. Yep, go back. That, that when you first log in, go to um. We're in, buddy. There we go. Here from the truck. Yeah. There's the node. Yeah. And then we're up in yeah. there. There's the man on station M2. And the, and the other node is right there, leaning up against the post. I have a really bright flashlight. Oh, I gotta get the, the solar panel. the doctor's solar panel. Man, it's just kind of eerie knowing that people died right on these grounds. An unfathomable agony. Man, that's exactly where the cannon sat. That is a steep mountain. And Confederates charged up it. Gosh. That's crazy, man. Man, I can hear the old men. Well, they weren't old then. I can hear them. Walking around. Talking about their problems. Talking about some stupid lieutenant. Whoops. Fort Dickerson came under attack only once during the Civil War, in a prelude to the 19th, to 1863 Siege of Knoxville. Federal and Confederate cavalry fought for possession of these heights. Its lofty presence, however, served as a deterrent until the end of the war. Wow. It's probably not going to show up on the camera, but the mountains, the real mountains, I must say, I'd rather be up here than down there. Imagine running up that hill to face down one of these. You made it all the way up here. And you get a belly full of shot. War is so horrendous. Especially back then. Yep, it was personal. It was definitely personal back then. I'm not a military strategist, but it seems like a good place for a fort. Alright, back to enjoying the luxuries that those people inadvertently gave us. These public restrooms are abysmal. I want to see the manager. Hey dude. Sun is right overhead. It's a 30 watt. It's warm. I think it hit 15, 16. Right. BTZ's up. Yeah. But I can't get the other one coming. Oh, 
Oh, wait, I'm going over the radio there. So I don't know if I'll get through. Wow, I'm getting through. Yeah, it's just logged in. There it is. That's good. That's a good picture right there. I worked at Northrop for more than a year. While I was at Northrop, he trained me to be a NASA certified solder. I spent the whole week doing nothing but solder. They give you a board and you tell you what to solder, then they would take it away the next day to bring the board back with all these little red stickers on it. It didn't meet no specs. So that's where I learned to solder. What we'll be going through real kind of quickly is using the right tool for each job. It's important to use the right tools. Use the right solder. There's half a dozen circuit soldering wire to a connector. And everybody's favorite PL 259s. How to do them? Cutters. Different. Oh, by the way, any of the tools or whatever you see. The same, do the same, I do the same thing with this. I pull the braid over, and the damper I split it to use the proper size damper. And then the only thing you have to solder is the tip. And then you can take it all apart. We can take these home with us, right? I'm not sure you can. And all you have to solder is the The rest of the state there. Yep. Alright. Yeah. Mesh status. We'll see them. The connections are not clean. Yeah. 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 We tunneled into his node at his house, and we're seeing everybody in, in the state that's on the mesh. And this is off Cedar Bluff. Oh, okay. Get to the internet. We are through the phone. Through the yeah. cell phone. Yeah. His email is this one here. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm Andy and I'm, you know. Okay. So we're all, you guys, we're all proud of you. We're all going to have art in there. I forgot to be free. I packed up, I don't have enough. When we did the roof, they took that off and they took it with them. I, and I didn't care because I, I didn't need it. Yeah, you were like, thank you for hauling that junk off. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but and, uh, then when uh, we wanted to change the antenna or something, they asked us to take it off because we weren't. If you're trying to shoot down the street down there, if you weren't keeping that parking lot. He opened up a, a, hot, a Wi Fi hotspot and we saw the rest of our I thought, no big deal. And I was trying to do a project. I'm going to take, take one of these Wi Fi. And I could not get it to connect to Wi Fi. So. Oh yeah, I put them in a the box. Okay. It's going to fit in your box and everything else you've got in there. Yeah, that's not like the final thing. Well, I'd say it's a success. Yeah, I think we got sparked some A lot more people than I thought would be interested. <laughs> Guys are putting in, um, Thanks, man. All right, man. I think it went well. I think it went well, too. Didn't break Good anything. Yeah. Good to meet you. And it worked the I'm first Tom. time out. Thomas, I'm Steven. Steven, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Knoxville. We're, we're, we're... Not sure device is connecting us successfully. Crap, this has been running.